Hi everyone, I'm Jodie, I'm the MD of Tiny Hunter and this week I'm thinking about getting tactile. So a few weeks ago I was working with some graduates at a design college and they were asking for industry advice and what they should do if they're trying to get an agency's attention who may not be actively hiring at that time. And my answer to them was do something tactile, do something in the real world send them something that looks special. The last thing I want to get is an email from anyone. Our inboxes are completely overloaded. And I think that this is something that we can all apply to our own brands in a number of different ways. So think about if you're in sales and you're trying to get someone's attention, how that could be a more, you know, analog experience. You know, Don't send them something on LinkedIn. Don't send them a sales email what could you actually physically send them obviously it depends what you're selling you know what the cost is what the margin is and those sorts of things but if you are really looking at you know a complex b2b sale that might be an avenue for you if it's not sales then maybe it's applied to onboarding so you've got a new client what can you do to make that experience feel special what can you send them that might be a really nice gift or part of that onboarding process And, you know, it can even be as simple as um, a handwritten thank you card. Someone's done something nice or imagine you've gone to some event, you've met a ton of people, but one of them sends you a handwritten note saying it's really great to meet you. You know, let's stay in touch, yada, yada. So right now I want you to think about your business, your brand. What is something that you could do that is not digital, it's not an email, it's not a social post, a story, a reel and all those things? What is something that you could do in the real world because I think everyone is really enjoying this semi-post-COVID life, doing things in real life. How can we be tactile with our brands? That's it from me. It's time for Brecky. 